Hello everybody, uh, here we are again um, On the lower left you've got the Evening Barford GFX which I restored last year And now home at last is the GB Roller built in 1946 um, This is just a quick walk around it to uh, explain some of the controls um, The first control you see there, that is the actual decompressor lever um, it is operated in that position, then flicked over. So when you wind it over on the start handle, you actually flick this over to uh, release the decompressor. Um, there's a fair bit of work to do on it, but uh, this is the uh, basic controls. This lever here is your forward reverse. Uh, clutch lever um, It's in position for starting um, To start this machine This is the stop. This is the throttle You've got to have this in forward direction and The high low gear in neutral which is straight up there then you've configured ready then for uh, to start the machine um, as you can see it's not too bad the, the only thing that problem I did find was the, the start in um, the handbrake uh, le uh, wheel there is solid absolutely solid so you can't move it um, closer look at the engine it's a Ruston two cylinder um, Needs a bit of a clean off. Uh, it's been patched up before that gasket's got to be renewed. Uh, it's just a home made bodge job done years ago. Looking at uh, that's this is the fuel tank. Uh, this is the uh, the dipstick is there, and the engine block drain cock there. Uh, my plan is to take remove all these these panels and actually chop blast them. Um, obviously, the rest of it's too big to chop blast, but the the main bulk of the panels, removable panels, will be chop blasted. Um, I've got a new badge for the front that that's going to come off, and a new one fitted. Um, these lights, your Lucas light side lights, are still obtainable on eBay. So they will be renewed. The front sprinkler pipes are um, okay apart from the hoses going back to the tank. I think um, that can be checked right through. The actual water tank is there, it's the twin tank, it's one other side. Um, I've got to work that out how that actually works because I think it's a mechanically operated pump off a gearbox. Uh, which pumps water from those tanks to the scrape of the um, sprinkler bars. Uh, the scrapers are okay. Uh, front and back on the front rolls. There's one missing on the well, a pair missing on the the rear rolls. Uh, she's not not in bad condition considering the age. Really, uh, it's been fairly well looked after by the cricket club where they came from uh, the seat is going to be renewed uh, on this side of the engine you've got identification it's a TV2 rust and diesel um, this is the fuel tank filler this side it's actually full of diesel at the moment. I don't want any condensation getting in. There's very little wear on the steering rack. This is the build plate. As you can see, it's a GB00182 built in Grantham. I've been told 1946. Um, that is the foot brake down there. Uh, down there, that lever, is a diff lock. 
um, which actually locks for driving up steep hills you don't you want traction on both rolls um, if you put diff lock in it would make it difficult to steer because you physically connected both back rolls uh, similar to the old steam rollers when they put the it's the terminology they use is uh, putting the pin in um, there's a fuel um, oil pressure gauge uh, when she's running she's reading about 25 psi which is spot on no complaints about that at all um, the seat seen better days that is a fair bit of welding involved with that um, in the back cover you've actually got the battery which operates the lights so you're going to check out the system how this actually works because I can't even find a light switch anywhere but that battery supposedly works the uh, the lights the side lights on this machine because it hasn't got a starter motor it's it's uh, it's hand cranked um, the plan is to remove all this the rear covers completely uh, take all the dents out and uh, shop blast and prime um, uh, this, this door needs this dent, a bit of twist in this door and you can see where it's gone in the middle point on the lower, lower edge a good hit with an arm and a bit of wood will do that there's a better view there of the forward reverse lever on these rollers um, you want instant forward and reverse when rolling tarmac because if you stop on tarmac on soft tarmac you will actually sink so the idea of that is is instantaneous forward reverse so you get a nice smooth finish um, well these dead weight rollers it's, it's, it says on the book it actually can go up to about five and a half ton um, you can ballast the, the front and rear rolls with water plus you've got the water tanks itself um, so it puts a, a fair bit of weight on like the other one I did um, as you can see she's a tidy machine um, she's a big old, old lump uh, I was hoping to take that the front guard off on the other, the other roller on the GFX you got bolts but this one's actually welded so it's going to be difficult to actually clean out in there um, so as you can see she uh, this this roller is 1946 this one is probably 1960 and the roller the GA my first one is 1953 so I've actually got the set now all within the confines of my garden um, so we've got the GA first GFX and now the GB uh, one day would love a GC or GD which is about twice the size of this which the council have used a lot um, this is termed as a light roller um, so patching work path uh, uh, driveway stuff like that um, I'm trying to find the history on this one but uh, as you can see she's a, she's a tidy project uh, another thing on this one as well is that that device there that is actually uh, you, you can use the fit the starting handle on there and it moves a counterweight which goes between the two rolls on a sled so in fact it's a, it's a weight on uh, like a bogey on two rails uh, which you can actually move you can distribute the weight from the front to the rear of this machine um, by using the start handle on that that then that sees that hasn't been used for a long time but that that is where that is you uh, you can wind it it's like it's like a pulley effect it's uh, like a wire rope on a pulley on a sled ingenious idea um, these rollers were were the Rolls Royce really of um, British built uh, diesel rollers and um, goes way way back to Alien Porters on, but when they built steam rollers in the, the late 18, 1800s so if you notice the controls on this one is very similar to a steam roller the setup I assume is uh, the conversion from steam to diesel for the drivers it's uh, the, even the fold reverse is on the same side as the steam roller on the left hand side 
on the Evelyn Porter steamroller. So, as you can see, she's a tiny project, and she's a big old lump, and is very bloody deceiving, really, because that's nearly five five ten in working order. So, um, hopefully now, when the weather gets better, I can start uh, working on that one and try and get him up to the same standard as its uh, GFX counterpart next to it. So, um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's an interesting project to say the least. So, um, I've, I've got one book on it, of the one after this, a GC roller. Uh, which is a lot next one up from this one again and the controls are virtually the same so we're going to use that one as a reference point for this one so um, well I'll keep you posted anyway on this restoration and uh, it, the room I made in you was just about right to get this one in you so there was a good uh, good guess that was so um, so that's uh, that's it for now and uh, I shall be posting uh, progress reports in the, on video in the near future so uh, keep tuned into my channel and um, hope you enjoy my videos goodbye